Today we take a look at a couple of new templates and how to install them. Alright, so I'm guessing you guys already know what templates are. So down in the description I have a link to my site. If you come over to my site and click on templates, I have a bunch of templates, I'm always updating this. Whichever one that you want, you just click on it, then scroll down and click on click here, and then you'll just download the settings file. Once you download the settings file, you're gonna want to head over to, depending on if you're on Windows or PC, but let's start with Mac. For Mac, you're gonna to wanna to go into your finder and go to properties and then click on hard drive so then you can see all the files on your hard drive. You're gonna to wanna to navigate to libraries, app support, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, templates, edit, and then titles. If you're on Windows, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to C users, the user that you're currently logged in on, app data, roaming, Blackmagic design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, templates, edit, titles. And you're just gonna drop that in there. Then if you already had DaVinci open, you're gonna to wanna to reboot it. If, you, if not, then let's start it up. Once you come in, if you come up to effects library, and then click on titles. Here there's a bunch of uh, titles that are already in DaVinci that they uh, launched the product with, but whichever one that you installed, let's say the commercial triangle title, you can just pull it out and drop it on your timeline. So for each one of these that I produce, on the right hand side, you'll have a ton of different options um, to change the colors, change some of the font. Um, down here, it's kind of uh, cut off, but it's a uh, background opacity, you can turn that down and then get rid of this background opacity if you don't want that background. So let's just bring this up and let's grab a shot here. So we'll bring this shot down and this shot was 120 frames. So I'm just going to slow this down to let's say 25%. And now I have it slowed down and then over here, I can bring down the background opacity and then I have whatever you know the template is on top. And you can change this to whatever you want and change the font as well and so on. So they're, they're, it's pretty cool, the different things you can do. I added a couple of like little settings in here because I knew that uh, depending on which font you use, sometimes things are a little out of whack um, if you want to, you can also, you know, change the, the color of the arrow. I'm guessing you guys kind of understand this and how it works. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I would really like some feedback on the current templates that I do have and some templates that you guys would like to see. I would like to know that as well. Because right now I'm just making things and I really don't know if people are going to have any interest in them. But yeah, let me know down there. One other thing, when you download the templates, pay attention to what the frame rate is for that template because if you put it in a timeline that's quicker, the animations are going to be a lot faster. So if you were to take a template that was made at 30 frames per second and put it in a 60 frames per second timeline, it's gonna be twice as fast and vice versa. So that's just one thing to pay attention to. If you, if there's a template that's 24 and you have a 30 frames per second timeline, it, you might be able to get it to work and not have it, you know, not have it be that noticeable, but it just something to, to, to be aware of. So with that being said, I hope you like the new templates. I didn't think they would take as long as they did to make, but you know, such is life. But go and download some templates. Let me know what you think about them and uh, give me some recommendations on some stuff I should make. And with that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching.